Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day nine of June vlogs. Yay! Why are you looking at me like that? Nobody's watching you. <laughs> you just giving me a really weird look. <laughs> so, right, I'm just going to get straight into this. You remember me saying the other day that I am influenced with the socks about how many socks I'm casting on by other people. Totally not my fault. This is the reason why. I'm sat here watching Kay. You all know Kay, I'm sure, the crazy sock lady. And listen. I'm like, why don't you have more sock projects, Kay? Like, why do you not just cast on all the socks? Who cares when they get done? Who cares? Just cast... See what I mean? So, hang on. Oh. It's talking with a friend, listening to them tell you about their projects. It's so good and relaxed. And she has so many sock projects. And every time I watch her, I'm like, why don't you have more sock projects, Kay? Like, why do you not just cast on all the socks? Who cares when they get done? Who cares? Just cast them. I'm going to cast on more socks. So, yeah, this is <laughs> not my fault that I have cast on 10 pairs of socks today. I've decided. Do you know what? I'm filming the podcast tomorrow. Sorry, I keep moving the camera around. I'm going to film the podcast tomorrow. So if you don't want to watch it because I haven't been able to stop myself showing everything that I'm working on, that's absolutely fine. I'm going to film it for the people that don't watch the vlogs. But I said at the start of vlogs, I'm not going to talk about knitting. And hello, Stuart. All I've done is talk about knitting, but it's what I do. So anyway... I've decided I want to use all of the Knit Picks Felici yarn up before I start another project. So as soon as I've finished these, I'm going to cast on another pair for Danny and see if I can get a pair of shorty short socks out of them with contrasting heels, toes and cuffs. I think if I use contrasting heels, toes and cuffs, then I'll get a pair of shorty socks for him. But we'll just see. Um, the other yarns had about 24. 25 grams on it this one's going to be less because i had to pull a bit off to make a match but anyway and i want to cast on my slip extravaganza socks as well so i'm going to cast them on and i'm just going to cast on all the socks yeah. what do you think Stuart? 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 Mm -hmm. he's totally ignored have you seen how he's cuddling mirabelle he thinks it's his Hello. It's so gorgeous. So as well, I want to say a huge thank you to all the lovely comments I got yesterday. Sorry, Ruby, I've just nutted you on the head. Um, I was very brave. I thought I was very brave too. So thank you very much. Everything's fine this morning. It feels a little bit weird, but it's not painful or anything like that. It just feels weird because, well, you know why. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm having a coffee which I'm using this cup, which means I snuck out this morning and got a sneaky Costa. I like this cup. Do you know what? I got it from Tesco's. It was oh, £7 with a club card and it literally keeps your drink hot for like four hours so coffee will last me ages, hours. I don't like cold coffee. I absolutely detest cold coffee. So as soon as it's gone cold, I have to chuck it away or I drink it quickly because it's going cold, which is why I drink so many coffees. So I figure that is going to be beneficial. We'll see. Anyway, we're going out for a walk soon. Um, I'm going to go down to the river. Danny's never actually been down to the river. I've got something in my eye. So I'm going to take him... Uh, down to the river we're gonna do some pokemon hunting with the boys and yeah so i shall be back in a bit and we'll go for a little walk hello everybody hello danny hello <laughs> we're just on a walk brought the dog out she's knackered bless her we're going up that sorry means... <laughs> yeah you're not speaking today <laughs> <laughs> no i just see you my phone <laughs> we're just going down to the river um, it's not too far a walk, but it's quite nice down there. I will show you when we get down there. Can you hear the birds? Loads. So nice. 
such relaxing We're walk. in the underpass. Woo! This is the main bypass over the top of us. As we walk underneath. It used to really scare me under here. Something's going on up there. What's going on up there? <laughs> yeah, there. There's a woman making arm signals and going like that. Wonder what's going on up there. I don't know what's up that road. I've never explored that way. I think it leads to. I don't know. If I, if I give you anything, I'm totally guessing. I have no idea where it goes. Zoom in? No, I'm in the wrong mode to zoom in. There's the stepping stones, you can walk all the way across and up to all the little other villages over, over the way. I can't take the dog over the stepping stones though because she tries to jump and she's not big enough and one time she did it and really hurt her chin because she missed the, misjudged it and really hurt herself. So yeah, isn't it amazing? Can you hear it? Hopefully that camera's picking it up. Got to be careful here though. There are signs everywhere that it fills up really quickly and it does. It's a beautiful, it's a lovely, lovely place.
about. <laughs> There's loads. I'm trying to show you the river, but I can't really because of all the growth. There's lily, yeah, there is some lily pads. Can you see them just about? Just about such a nice walk. So lucky to have this is literally five minutes from our house. We are beyond lucky. I know that. It's beautiful. There's so many midges though in here. <laughs> Danny keeps going. <laughs> Trying to keep my mouth shut. Right. Hopefully I've shown you enough of the area. And I will meet you back at home. Back. I have to show you this view now. You've just got to imagine the crane's not there, which is totally ruining it. Are you ready? Look at that. Isn't that what life is just all about? Just beautiful. Are you glad that you can see the crane as well on here? Hello. Hello. You all right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just come back to the to make sure you're all right. Yeah, I'm fine. I heard you talking away in the distance of what you just talking to yourself. Yeah, because I often do that. I do, actually. <laughs> So we are heading on home now. Dog is exhausted. <laughs> she enjoyed it in the river. She had a good swim in the river. And she did enjoy it. Been there having fun. Oops. It's just amazing. Bye. I'm going to show you again. Just look. Look. Wow. Never ever tire of seeing that. And if I could live in this house. Okay. If I could live in that house, life would just be perfect. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? Wouldn't you just love to live there? Imagine seeing that view every morning when you open your curtains. Oh, wow. Right, I'm definitely going this time. I'll see you at home. I'm back again, sorry. <laughs> We're in the proper foresty bit now. This is just, apart from the huge stone yard, this is just forest. I can't spin the camera around because Josh doesn't want me on the camera and he's just in front, so I'm keeping it this way. Oh, he's moved, bless him. He moved for you. There you go. Isn't it? Can you hear all the birds? Oh, watch me footing. Dog had found something to sniff there. Look at that. Still full of midges though. Before I forget, um, somebody was asking yesterday about the cardigan I was wearing. So I'm gonna show you it. Come into the bedroom, I've got the blinds shut to try and keep some of the heat out. So one second. This is the cardigan you saw me wearing yesterday. It's the Ariana cardigan. Um, it's on Ravelry and the cardigan is actually for a DK way, I've used, I used my advent calendar last year. So I did four ply and did eight rounds of just simple granny stitch in four ply. And that gave me the, the right size square. So I did all the same number of squares that it asked for, but um, more rounds. All the notes are on my Ravelry page for this. And I didn't do the knitted ribbon I did crochet ribbon just because the cardigan was quite heavy and I thought it'd stretch her knitted rib out of shape but yeah that's it if I can figure out how to link my Ravelry page I will I don't know how to do that um but it's the Ariana cardigan if I've not linked the Ravelry page I'll link the pattern and if I forget just remind me <laughs> hello everybody it is now six o'clock and you're not even straight. Is that better? Look at the state of Mirabel. That's Stuart because he keeps sleeping on her. Anyway, how are we all doing? Did anybody watch Ellie's latest? She did um, a craft room vlog. Oh my word. It was brilliant, by the way. But I found a pattern that I want to do now. I should have saved it. She made this pattern. It was the Aria shawl or aria scarf and it was beautiful it was a dk weight one and she did it in like a teal color and like um like a hot pink it was really really gorgeous but she did say there was a fingering weight version so i went on to ravelry 
and I found it. Why? Oh, I'm in the library. Need to go to favourites. I haven't bought the pattern. I'll get it. I'm going to get it when I get paid. Right. Where's... Here it is. And this is called the Zaria Shawl. Which is very similar to Ellie's, but this is the fingering weight version. How amazing is that? And I'm going to do it in that um, sunset yarn colourway and black. It will look absolutely gorgeous. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, so love that. So it's by Amber O'Brien and it's called the Zaria Shawl. It is gorgeous. And you need, um, it's fingering weight and you need two skeins of fingering weight. So that sunset orange and black, I just think it would look beautiful. So that is on plans. So I've been sat admiring that for a little bit today. <coughs> Excuse me, this afternoon. We've had tea. I did homemade burgers. Um, Danny and Josh. Excuse me, I have got something in my eyes. One sec. Sorry about that. Danny and Josh had burger and chips and I just had a burger. It was really, really nice. So we've had that. And yeah, looking forward to the weekend. What are you all doing this weekend? Anybody up to anything nice? We're not doing anything. There's no plans um, to do very much of anything this weekend other than relax. So I'll just show you Stuart if I can. Let me just show you this cat. Look at the state of him. That is how he sleeps. Legs in air. You can see his little whiskers twitching. Bless him. It's so funny. He sleeps in the most bizarre positions you've ever seen. He really does, bless him. So, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, no plans this weekend, just to relax and just enjoy the weekend. It's supposed to be nice, I think, nice and sunny again. So we're just going to chill out. That's Luigi meowing at the window. Honestly, if it's not one cat, it's another in this house. If it's not the cats, it's the hamster. And if it's not the hamster, it's the dog. Oh, she's absolutely exhausted from a walk yeah. earlier. Rubes. Hey darling, you alright sweetheart? You tired girl? Yeah, she's a tired girl. So I won't waffle on at you tonight, I hope you've all enjoyed the vlog today. Don't forget, we're not vlogging over the weekend, so we will be back on Monday. I'm going to go out and about on Monday. I'm either going to take you to Golden Acre Park, which is in Leeds, or we're going to go to a little forest near us. So we'll see which one we go to. Have a lovely, lovely weekend, everybody. And I will see you all on Monday. Bye.